What's up everyone, welcome to Film Spot, and today we will be talking about the best upcoming movies. While some studios may be pondering their next move, the live-action adaptations of classic and modern video games continue to thrive. The Sonic films have captivated fans worldwide, proving to be a massive hit. And guess what? The next thrilling chapter in this beloved franchise is already revving its engines and gearing up for production. According to Production List, filming is set to begin on August 31st in London, continuing the adventures of the iconic Blue Hedgehog and his friends right where the second film left off. Director Jeff Fowler is returning to lead the project, supported by a talented team of producers and writers. While the full cast hasn't been confirmed, familiar faces like Ben Schwartz as Sonic, James Marsden as Tom Wachowski, Idris Elba as Knuckles, and Colleen O'Shaughnessy as Tails are expected to reprise their roles. The plot details are being kept under wraps, but the story is likely to explore the aftermath of Sonic's previous triumphs, the fate of the Master Emerald, and the introduction of the mysterious Shadow the Hedgehog. Our heroes will face higher stakes, united against new threats and challenges. While Jim Carrey's return as Dr. Robotnik is uncertain, the director has suggested that the character won't be recast if Carrey decides not to reprise the role. Stay tuned for more updates on this one, folks! After the successful release of Extraction 2 on Netflix, plans are underway to expand the movie series into a trilogy. During Netflix's Tudum event, director Sam Hargrave and actor Chris Hemsworth discussed the recent release of Extraction 2, which is now available for streaming. Hemsworth himself made the exciting announcement during the live-streamed event, revealing that Extraction 3 is already in the works. Expressing his gratitude to the fans, Hemsworth acknowledged their support and emphasized their role in making the first film a success. He then dropped the news that discussions are underway for a third installment featuring the character Tyler Rake. Extraction 2 premiered on Netflix on June 16th and received a generally positive response from viewers. Considering the early talks about a sequel involving Hargrave and Hemsworth, it suggests that the premiere attracted a significant audience. With Hemsworth's announcement, it appears that fans can anticipate another thrilling adventure with Tyler Rake in the future. I've got bad news for those of you that were looking forward to El Muerto. Sony has made a surprising move by removing the film, led by the talented Bad Bunny, from its release schedule. The previously announced release date of January 2024 has disappeared without a trace. Directed by the skilled Jonas Cuaron, El Muerto has generated a lot of excitement among fans. However, due to the ongoing WGA strike and complications with Bad Bunny's tour dates, the film's release has faced uncertainties. Instead of receiving a new date to mark on our calendars, it's now listed as TBD, meaning to be determined. But fear not, true believers, the wheels of development are still turning, and El Muerto is very much in progress. Bad Bunny, the popular Puerto Rican musician sensation, joined the project as Marvel's first live-action Latino lead back in April 2022. However, as of April 2023, filming had yet to begin, so it remains to be seen how exactly the timeline turns out. Aaron Taylor Johnson has set social media abuzz with a thrilling tease. In a chilling post, he takes aim directly at none other than Spider-Man himself, boldly proclaiming, Spider-Man, I'm coming for you, accompanied by a menacing image of Taylor Johnson as the fearsome Kraven the Hunter. Although the recent Kraven the Hunter trailer doesn't feature our beloved Spider-Man, it drops exciting hints that he'll play a significant role. A gripping scene shows an onslaught of spiders descending upon a visibly shaken Kraven, sparking speculation. Could Kraven's arachnophobia drive him to hunt down our friendly neighborhood wall crawler? Kraven the Hunter joins Sony Pictures' expanding lineup of Spider-Man spin-offs, which already includes captivating villains like Venom and Morbius. While Spider-Man has been alluded to, fans eagerly await a true showdown. Will this electrifying battle ever come to fruition, and which version of Spider-Man will face off against the formidable Kraven? Only time will tell. During an appearance on YouTube channel Corridor Crew, J.J. Perry revealed that he's been in talks with Netflix for a follow-up film. And guess what? The sequel already has a title, Night Shift. But that's not all. Perry dropped a major bombshell by expressing his hope to bring on board Michael Finch, the talented writer behind John Wick 4. 
Perry seems to be assembling a team of John Wick alums, with Chad Stahelski, the director of John Wick Chapter 4, expected to join as a producer. Their goal is to create an unforgettable vampire hunting extravaganza with Night Shift. If you haven't seen Day Shift yet, it stars the incredible Jamie Foxx as a hard-working father leading a double life as a vampire hunter while supporting his daughter. When he's given a tight deadline to come up with a large sum of money for his daughter's education and dental care, the stakes are raised to a whole new level. It becomes a race against time, and the struggles of making ends meet might just turn deadly. Change has become the name of the game for Warner Brothers and DC, and the past year has been a whirlwind of transformation. With a fresh CEO at the helm and a wave of cost-cutting measures sweeping through the company, even beloved projects like Batgirl found themselves in the crosshairs. However, amidst this storm of change, one superhero film managed to emerge unscathed and ready to soar, Blue Beetle. Originally intended as a Max exclusive, this film managed to break free from the fate that befell Batgirl. Not only did it avoid cancellation, but it also secured its own coveted spot in theaters. And now, Angel Manuel Soto, the talented director behind this Jolo Maraduena-led superhero adventure, has revealed that Blue Beetle will be an integral part of the visionary universe crafted by James Gunn and Peter Safran. Director Angel Manuel Soto has big dreams for Blue Beetle, envisioning it as the first act of an epic saga. Our first movie, the way we wanted to do it, was always with the mentality that we wanted to do two more, at least, Soto explains. With a trilogy in mind, he plans to embrace the traditional three-act structure. Do you think Blue Beetle should be a trilogy? I'm gonna reserve my judgment until I watch the movie. This is not a drill. Everyone's beloved Olivia Colman is stepping into the enchanting world of Paddington Bear. That's right, the Academy Award-winning actress, known for her exceptional performances in films like The Favorite and The Father, as well as her memorable role in The Crown, is now confirmed to be joining the cast of Paddington 3. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Coleman will bring her undeniable charm and talent to the role of a character who runs a retirement home for bears in none other than Peru. For die-hard Paddington aficionados, this will surely ring a bell, as our favorite bear has often regaled us with tales of his dear Aunt Lucy and the home for retired bears nestled deep within the jungles of darkest Peru. Coleman has also recently ventured into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, joining forces with none other than Samuel L. Jackson in the highly anticipated Disney Plus series Secret Invasion. With her remarkable versatility, it's no wonder that Hollywood has been clamoring for her exceptional skills. In stranger news, Linda Hamilton is now rumored to be entering the Upside Down. In a jaw-dropping announcement at Netflix's Tudum fan event, Arnold Schwarzenegger himself revealed that his Terminator co-star will be joining the cast for the highly anticipated fifth and final season of Stranger Things. While the details of Hamilton's character remain shrouded in mystery, one thing is certain, she's a fan of the show. With a playful smile, Hamilton jokingly admitted that she's still figuring out how to balance being both a fangirl and an actress at the same time. But let's not underestimate her action-packed legacy and those legendary biceps. She's sure to bring some serious firepower to the battle against Vecna. As season 4 left us hanging with Hawkins on the brink of destruction and Vecna's sinister plans still unfolding, the stage is set for an epic showdown. Regardless of Hamilton's character in the show, I'm pumped to see what she brings to the table. I hope you're ready for another incredible adventure with Woody and Buzz Lightyear, because the iconic duo is now confirmed to be making a triumphant return. It's hard to believe that it's been almost three decades since they first graced the silver screen in the original Toy Story. Voiced by the talented Tom Hanks and Tim Allen since the groundbreaking Pixar film in 1996, fans have been anxiously awaiting news of their fate after Woody bid his friends farewell in Toy Story 4. But fear not, because recent reports indicate that the beloved Sheriff and Space Ranger are set to make a comeback. According to Disney Pixar's chief creative officer, Pete Docter, in an interview with Variety, We have another Toy Story, so Woody and Buzz are back, and we have a few other projects, but it's always a balance. This news was further reinforced by Tim Allen, who confirmed earlier this year that he would be reprising his role as the voice of Buzz. 
While Tom Hanks has yet to confirm his return as Woody, the anticipation and excitement among fans are already skyrocketing. Tim Allen even took to Twitter to share his enthusiasm, writing, See you soon, Woody. You're a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. And off we go to a number five, To Infinity and Beyond. As of now, a specific release date for Toy Story 5 has not been announced, but rest assured, I will be there in the queue. It's time to don your straw hats, fellow One Piece fans, because the highly anticipated One Piece live-action series on Netflix is just around the corner. And let me tell you, the excitement is palpable. And with even the creator himself, Ichiro Oda, expressing his awe at what he has witnessed so far, we have every reason to be brimming with anticipation. As the release date draws near, Netflix has blessed us with a tantalizing teaser trailer, offering a glimpse into the world we adore. But that's not all. Brace yourselves because the titles of all eight episodes in the first season have been unveiled, giving us a taste of the epic adventure to come. From the first to the last episode, these are the revealed titles. Romance Dawn, The Man with the Straw Hat, Tell No Tales, The Pirates Are Coming, Eat at Barate, The Chef and the Chore Boy, The Girl with the Sawfish Tattoo, and Worst in the East. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.